Our man, Mr. Dave Mazda. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction.com. And as you're on our website at TFNN, you're going to see the banner right there. You can hit that banner, bring Direction up, and you're going to see not only just a single ETFs, you have the doubles as well as the triples. Dave Mazda, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, good. Great to be back with you. Well, you know where I got to go today. <laughs> the bottom line is that we've been out here for a long period of time, you know, looking at the gold market, the silver market, of course. Uh, and, you know, when you take a look at this, folks, the, the bottom line is that when you go over the direction, you're going to see that, you know, the bottom line, we, we have the nugget out there. The, the nugget is two times the um, value uh, of the uh, X, uh, well, the New York Arca's uh, Gold Miners Index. And uh, we got a little rocket ship out here, Dave. Yeah, we, we, we got a real move higher here today, I think, but which has been emblematic about this consolidation we saw in gold and then the related mining stocks finally seeing a pop here. So I think much of it is, is to your point with the intro here is everyone was talking about Bitcoin, different types of cryptos taking away from gold. At the end of the day, um, that might not be the case. So I think we can, those two assets can coexist together. And that what we're seeing volume-wise uh, with uh, particularly Nugget uh, and JNUG, the junior side on the, on the 2X bull, yes. um, has been really fascinating today as money has moved back in sharply as they've, they've performed strong on the upside. Now, what's really cool here, folks, and he just brought up JNUG, okay? So, if you want, I mean, JNUG, and this, this happens, folks, because what happens with JNUG, JNUG are the, basically the exploration stocks that are inside. They're, they're the junior miners. Uh, you know, and when we take a look at the holdings, you know, I mean, it's really sweet because, you know, you're basically uh, getting uh, many of the junior miners. And when we say junior miners, you're still talking about miners that are bringing in a huge amount of, of production. And uh, when we get to the, you know, it's intriguing, Dave, when we get to these higher numbers, like the JNUG's trading at uh, 109, up 10 bucks right now, um, it, it's pretty amazing on the leveraged aspects of the acceleration in price that you can actually get. And now we know it goes both ways, but the bottom line is that when you have a trend at the back, it's pretty cool, man. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you make a great point. So the junior side, you know, most these are these are companies that have gold mining operations. Many of them are profitable, but they are more speculative. They're more on the exploration side. You don't have the major household names that you're going to find that's underlying the index that's used uh, on the side of Nugget. But to your point, when you see the beta come back into the market, uh, as we have in the past couple of weeks, and especially today, the junior, uh, junior side are going uh, to perform, for the most part, the generalization, uh, uh, e even more volatile than what you get on the, nugget so uh, on the nugget side, again, by nature of their even higher beta uh, to the gold market. So both of those tools can be great. Um, alongside the bear funds, to your point, um, uh, 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 for to take advantage of the fact that uh, we've certainly seen some upside here, but we could see some downside uh, as this kind of interesting market environment plays out. At the end of the day, what we're seeing both on the trading side and then I think longer term investors are saying is, again, what's going to happen with these inflation numbers? Are they going to get a lot higher before they get better? But for the meantime, take advantage of the trends that are occurring uh, that finally is kind of getting gold more exciting, especially um, the, the bull funds we have, the, the bull and bear funds, we have to take advantage of it. And folks, when you come over to Direction.com, and Direction is D-I-R-X-I-O-N, what you're going to see, it, and uh, Dave and, and Direction has this out here every day, it's really cool. They have the price movers out there, they have the volatility stocks out there, then they have the create and the redeem. And it's really cool in the aspect of, so you can see where the money's going, where the money's coming out from. Can you explain, Dave, and I, I know you've done this before for us, but I think it's really important because what has happened, we talked about this the last time we were on. We talked about the aspect of the, the new tax bill that's coming in and that the ETF structure, folks, is so much more efficient tax-wise, okay, that it's really important. And so can you explain to the audience how an ETF is created and how it's redeemed? Exactly. So the way our funds work on the leverage and inverse side, which is a bit of a 202 exercise compared to what I talked about last time, is that we have uh, assets coming into the fund. So we call that an in-kind creation 
or assets come out of the fund in kind redemption, where we're not necessarily transacting in the cash market. So it can make it more tax efficient as actual securities come in and out of the fund. So we have some primers on this on our website, direction.com. For anyone who wants more information, I recommend they check it out. Because to me, it's one of the always most fascinating parts about ETFs. There is no doubt. Well, listen, man, thank you for the education. Really appreciate it. Look forward to speaking to you two weeks from today, Dave. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.